All right, YouTube doobie. What's going on, man? It's me, Human Mikey. Back with some more gameplay commentary. It's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, damn, son. Oh, look at me tear these people up. Or they're not people. I don't know what the hell they are. They're like a cross between a spider and a mosquito and I don't know on crack but yeah man you shoot them and then they do they make this little bubble thing and they get bigger what the hell's up with that and they start flying around and shit but regardless I kick ass man I get shit done so yeah but I was thinking about this game because it made me think about Space. Yeah, man, space. What's out there, man? Is there other planets that have life? I mean, we don't know. We don't know. Still to this day, we don't know. Crazy, man, crazy. So, I'm hoping that one day, one day, man, we'll be able to have our own little miniature spaceships that take plutonium or whatever and they're even faster and we can just take them to go to Mars and like we'll have our own little space station on Mars and little homes and whatever else and it'll all be like it'll be working it'll have its own ecosystem somehow or another We'll have water, we'll have plants, and all kinds of good plants, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, that's what I'm hoping for. And when we look back, when we're flying up into space, we look back and we see this little tiny dot that's Earth. We're like, ha ha, suckers, I'm out of here. And yeah, man, we just find either something to do on Mars or go find some other planet and now you may say well Mac it takes like five years to get to Mars no man I'm thinking I'm thinking this new technology will be like faster just insane warp speed beyond fucking warp speed fast just boom you want to go to the moon you'll be there in like five seconds you may shit yourself, but you'll be there. Mars, it'll take like two to three hours. Yeah. I mean, this shit's gonna be fast. Just hella fast. Look at me tear this. Oh, yeah, get knifed. Bitch. Oh, get stabbed. I'm about ready to die. Oh, Mikey. Is he gonna live? Is he gonna live? But yeah, man, I don't know why I got to thinking about that. Maybe it's because sometimes here on Earth, man, things just drive you goddamn crazy. You know, we got this pandemic. We got people in debt. I know I was one of them. And people without jobs and stuff. Wouldn't it be great to just get into this new spaceship and just go vroom and find another place to live, man. Just start over, man. Start fresh. But one thing that I'm worried about, one thing I'm really concerned about is if, okay, see, everybody's got their own spaceship, right? And it goes extra fast. It's just boom. So let's say you go to Mars and we have a place, a big ass dome or something. And we can live on Mars. But what if somebody decides, I'm going to venture off. I'm going to see what else is out there. And they start flying away. It's like, where are you going, bro? They're like, I'm just going to the gas station. I'll be right back. You just chill. I'll be right back. And he or she flies away. You don't hear nothing from them. Not a phone call, not a text, nothing. Nothing, man. 
They're just boom, gone. It's like, hello, did you die? Hey, did you die? I hope not, man. Shit. We got things to do here, not only on Earth, but on Mars. And now we're looking at getting on Saturn. But, oh, that's, ooh, that's, that's a rough one. But this person, they fly away. They keep on going, right? And they get into this black hole. And I don't know exactly how they work, but I think they suck everything in. So this person gets sucked into the black hole, and they're spinning around, and they're puking all over themselves. And next thing you know, they black out. And they wake up in their spaceship. And they're like, whoa, shit, what the hell is that? And they see Earth. It's like somehow they got sucked up by the black hole, and the black hole is like, ugh, don't like this. Spit out. And you go flying all the way back to like the moon or so. Pretty close to Earth, not quite. But you're like, ah, I think that's Earth. Yeah, that's the moon over there. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, you, I think, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So then you warp speed it or mock turbo it and you start going to Earth. And you see Earth and you're getting closer and closer. And you're like, okay, descending into Earth in five, four, three. Prepare the heat protection thing. Two, one. And we have entered Earth. So now you're going down into Earth. And you're like, oh boy, let's see, where are we at? Uh, Pacific Ocean, okay. Uh, warp speed over to the left a little bit. Uh, where is that? I think we're, I think we're somewhere around the United States. I'm not sure. I think I have my oceans mixed up. I'm not sure. You think it's the United States? It might be Canada. We're not sure. But anyway, things, they look a little different. The ocean is a lot smaller and there's a lot more land and as you get closer and closer you realize that hmm there's not a lot of vegetation it's very very dry everywhere I look and then you land and you get out and holy shit damn it's hotter than hell and so you're looking around and seeing all these houses that have been destroyed and you see all these weird insect things that are huge and they're like mosquitoes but they're like spiders and they fly it's crazy man and you're like what the hell and so you keep on walking man you're trying to find some sort of life human life and you're just bombarded with insanity i mean there's bats flying down from the sky they're like they're huge they're like the size of a bald eagle and they're trying to like take your ass out and you're like whoa whoa man these things are huge man and then everywhere you look there's just nothing but desert and it's like there might be a little bit of water here and there. Like I said, you saw the Pacific Ocean, but it was very tiny. It looked like a lake. And then that's when you realize something happened. And you stumble across a newspaper. And it says the date. And you just realize that you time traveled because the date on the newspaper says 3051. What the hell do you do then? Because you didn't get any older, but because of the black hole, everything's all fucked up. Anyway, it has been your boy Mikey. That was just a thought I had on my brain today, so... Like, subscribe.
Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh.